Dear friends, welcome back. This is the, the second uh, shot about uh, the additional functionalities provided by the app Mightier Amp when used in combination with new X Mighty devices like new X Mighty Air, like in this case, or new X Mighty Plug, Mighty Plug Pro, and so on. Uh, as uh, for the previous video, this is just a comparison. I will uh, focus only on the additional functionalities that are provided by this app pro uh, made by Tutori, uh, compared with the official one. Of course, the official uh, new X app is uh, really good in my opinion, but Mighty Ramp really extends its functionalities with a lot uh, of uh, uh, very convenient uh, additions, very convenient. Uh, um, extensions that that we can use use in everyday job so uh, let me open the app then we start the device so let me turn it on okay now our new X uh, it turned on it is uh, connected as Bluetooth so now we will focus on the setting tab so you may remember that uh, at the bottom uh, of the, the app we have uh, five buttons uh, Editor, Presets, Drums, Jam Tracks uh, and Settings. Let's push Settings. Here we also, we, you probably remember from a previous video that we used uh, Remote Control to, to configure the M-Wave Chocolate pedal. There is a specific uh, uh, video for that, so I will not focus on that. Let's just pair now the the app with the device, so pressing scan, no access being found, this way is coupled and all the functionalities are possible. So let's start from the beginning. The first additional option you may find is uh, the first one, keep screen on, you can turn it off and on. It is a very simple addition because it just uh, keep the, the screen of your smartphone on when you are using the app, while you are using the app. It's very convenient during, uh, uh, during everyday activities because if you want to test uh, different uh, uh, selections, different configuration and you don't want to, to have to stop every uh, put, your, put down your guitar to unlock your smartphone every now and then, this is uh, very helpful. Uh, consider that with the official app you need to go to the, your smartphone configuration, say keep the screen on, uh, then reactivate it, so this one is very practical. Then, second option that uh, we have uh, here as addition is the delay, delay time unit. This one is uh, used uh, to configure, it's strange to have it here, but uh, uh, Tuntori couldn't find for the moment a different position. This is connected to Editor tab, in particular with the block delay. If you started, you may see that uh, the third bar time is uh, expressed as, uh, uh, in this case, uh, 107, 108 BPM. That is uh, the unit measure used. If in the settings we change that unit measure, measure and make it seconds, for example, now you see that it is shown as 0.56 seconds. Uh, you can use the, the, um, the unit you, you prefer, the, the most convenient for you. Uh, these, both uh, these ones are not uh, identical to what we have in the official app. The official app shows a percentage that, in my personal opinion, doesn't make uh, a lot of sense because uh, either we are interested in the real time, so how many seconds, or how many bits. So, th frankly speaking, Tuntori provided the most useful uh, units to, to be used. So Then uh, there is uh, another option, set matching cabinets automatically. Uh, in the official app you need to select what is your device. Okay, It's not a big deal because it's very simple to, to select uh, uh, new X Mighty Plug or Mighty Air. Also here we can deactivate it and then uh, if I couple the device again uh, we will need uh, to, to select it uh, when, uh, when coupling it uh, additionally. So it's like in the official app so I'm not showing it in a real no need. But if uh, uh, set matching cabinets is uh, already turned on you will never need to select uh, the, the the firmware version, the, the device, because it will be identified automatically by the app. Then we have uh, the uh, if we scroll down, we have uh, the USB audio settings. This one is uh, exactly what you will find in the official app, with the same options for New X Mighty Air, Normal, Reamp and Dry Out. 
But uh, you see that uh, Tutori provided some pictures that uh, immediately shows uh, what is the meaning of the selection we make. Uh, in, compared to the official app, this is more clear, but there is a specific video that uh, uh, went online uh, right before this one, so please have a look at that if you want the details about this. I'm not going in depth uh, today. Now, then we have uh, another uh, interesting uh, option that is uh, Calibrate Bluetooth audio latency. This one is the, the last one. With this one, the, your smartphone will uh, put a sound. If you are connected with the Nuex Mic Air through, uh, through Bluetooth, uh, you will hear the audio from the Nuex Mic Air. So let me couple it uh, with, the, with the device to, to make you understand what I'm meaning. Now that they are paired, you can see that the click is coming up, uh, out from the Nuex Mighty Air amplifier and the colored button for the selection on the channel is changing in sync with the, with, the, with the click. I can move the slider to change the, um, the delay of the sound compared with the click. This is used to synchronize your Bluetooth audio coming from your smartphone to the new X Mighty Air with the, uh, the audio coming, uh, coming from, the, from the device. Very, very helpful because with this uh, uh, functionality, if you uh, use your smartphone to provide the gem track uh, where you want to play on, uh, it, you can synchronize it with the sound of your guitar. Uh, you remove the delay that, is, that usually you have when using Bluetooth audio. So, it's uh, really, really helpful, we're really welcome, and this is another additional functionality provided by Tuntori. Okay, for today that's uh, all, with this focus about the settings tab in, within uh, uh, Mighty Ramp. Uh, I would like to take the opportunity to thank again Tuntori for, for providing this wholesome hub. It uh, allows uh, to extend the functionality of, the, of these devices uh, uh, in an incredible way. Uh, by the way, he also confirmed that uh, in the upcoming uh, version, so in the next version probably, we will have a, a whole bunch of additional functionality that I will try to explain you in a version 2.0 of this kind of video. So please uh, be patient. For the moment, I focused on what I know with the present version of the app. Uh, in the description below, you will find also a link uh, where you can download the PDF file, a sort of instruction for use that uh, explain in a more synthetic way what I've been trying to show here. And also for the, it is valid for the other uh, tabs of the app. Uh, if you uh, would like me to explain something better, have additional requests or uh, um, something is not working for you, please let me know in the comments. I will try to reply at the best of my possibility. As you know, I'm not uh, affiliated to Nuex uh, or to anything else. So uh, all I can tell you is uh, coming from my di direct experience, nothing else. Uh, in the meantime, thank you for watching. I hope you found this uh, useful and uh, I'm uh, renewing you the... the mm, the appointment for the next uh, video. So stay tuned. Bye bye.